Hello YouTube, this is Dakota from Bowtie Media, and today we're talking about another huge collaboration. We've talked about a lot on this channel recently, but this one I feel like has got to be the craziest, biggest of all them in recent days. Uh, Trinite, the insane uh, Sharks, Skybreak, and Paper Skies collaboration. I feel like of all those things, this is by far the most insane of all of them. The hugest collaboration, the one that we feel like should have happened for forever ago. But uh, that it is, the, it is here, it is this track. And this is the one that you guys voted on as members uh, of the channel uh, to be the song to react to. And so we are gonna to react to it right now. And so if you wanna be a part of that voting, you can join the channel membership today. But other than that, let's hop into it. Uh, whew, I'm excited for this one. Here we go. This is, uh, I believe I'm saying it right, Try Night by Shark, Skybreak, and Paper Skies. I'm assuming we're going to hear some color bass. And some future bass, some very wet synths. Already pretty wet. Okay, I'm excited. Okay, a little calmer than I expected so far, not gonna lie. I feel like a relatively minimalistic approach. But we'll see where they take it. Okay, fun little bridge section there. Doing a 
really slow out here. Okay. Okay, Tri Night uh, by Shark Skybreak and Paper Skies. First off, uh, production as always from these uh, these three is is fairly clean. It's really nice. Uh, it is it is just sounds smooth and obviously with, when you get sharks in there, it got that very nice kind of wet sound design and atmosphere that uh, adds to a sort of style that you haven't really heard a ton. Uh, I, other than sharks, don't really hear it. I feel like a, a real ton, but um, so in that sense, great. Um, that being said. I think this is the first time I have been like a little underwhelmed with this kind of color base melodic dubstep style that's a little bit more niche where it kind of, I would say it's predominantly color based. This is probably the first time where I've been a little bit underwhelmed uh, just because of I feel like I've heard it now. So I've I've been a huge proponent, I would say, of color base for a long time now and I've been really enjoying it and and just loving all the, uh, loving all the stuff. But I think this is the first time now where I can say, you know what, this is, I'm kind of hearing the same thing now. I'm kind of hearing the same thing now. And I've heard tricklings of some other people kind of say that in other areas where they say, you know what, like I'm starting to hear it, but um, I, I'm, I'm curious to know if that's going to last any longer for me. That being said, I still like really enjoy this. I, I still really enjoy it. And yes, I am getting sort of like flashbacks to how there, there's other genres that sort of get a little stale in, in what is in what is being produced because it's kind of can't really move away from that core sound. But I still really like the sound. I think it's great. I, it just feels very flashy. And yet this one is still a little bit more minimalistic, a little bit more pulled back. And it just feels fun. And I know I say that all the time in videos, but it just is like such an enjoyable track to listen to that I feel like I feel like I wouldn't want to not listen to this. Does that make sense? Like I want to listen to it because it's just, it's just such an engaging, just sort of mm, almost mindless in a sense, but like a, in a mindless, but also like a, there are times where I can purposely go listen to it and hear the intricacies of the, the melody line and what the production's doing here and what the sound design's doing here, but also where I can just put it on the back and just absolutely like vibe to it and not care about the the intricacies of the track. It, it kind of works in, in two ways in that similarly to how I believe Jaren does too, um, another producer that does some other indie Tronica stuff. But yeah, yeah, the, I'd be. this is one I'd be very fascinated to hear more opinions on. This one felt a little bit more lighter, didn't feel as grand of a of a triple collaboration as sometimes they can be, which is okay, doesn't need, to, not every tracking is to be this most grand, epic, operatic section of sorts, and so, uh, but yeah, I'm I'm intrigued to see what, uh, what you guys say. So speaking of that, I'd love to hear what you have to say in the comments section below, but uh, you know, I'm Dakota from Motive Media, and I will see you guys in another video.